Hey everybody, today we are going to do a video on how to change your slide topper awning. Now as my good buddy Vic always says, there is the right way, there's the wrong way, and there's a way, and I'm sure this is a way. So we're gonna get into it right now, and I'm gonna do this with the help of my buddy Vic over there. Hey everybody. Now this is something that you can do probably on your own in most circumstances. This is a little bit longer awning, so I'm gonna seek the help of my friend Vic, but if it's a shorter awning, you can pretty much do it yourself. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do it without even taking the roller off. We're just gonna take pressure off of the awning with the roller. We're gonna jam an ice pick in this baby so that it doesn't spin and maybe you know cut my hand wide open again. And we're just gonna yank this awning out and put the new one in. Hopefully this shouldn't take more than 10, 15 minutes, a few hours a day. Hopefully it doesn't take very long at all. Now there's really few tools that you need to do this. Uh, silicone lube to lube the, the track for the awning makes your life a little bit easier. I would say a, an ice pick or an awl or even uh, you can use a couple of, uh, of Allen keys. I like the ice pick idea or the awl because it goes all the way through the holes in the awning and allows you to stop that spring from turning back. So that's what we're going to do. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna roll this, we're gonna roll the awning until it gets loose. And then once this is loose, Vic is gonna put the ice pick in and then we're gonna be, we're gonna be done. So let's do that. This has got way too much. Somebody ordered the wrong one. It's got way too much material for the, when this is full on out. So, should be able to see a hole through it. There. And you can see there now that all the tension is off of the, off of the awning. That's a good thing. Before removing your awning, you're gonna have to make sure that the J-rail or drip rail or awning rail or whatever you wanna call it, you gotta make sure that that's free of any screws or debris. We had just installed a new drip spout on ours, so I needed to remove that before moving forward. And once that was pulled out and we cleaned up the rail a little bit, we were ready to get the old awning out and get the new awning installed. Now what we're gonna do is we should be able to slide the awning out. Now there is some tape here, so we're gonna pull this tape off first to keep that from what holding the awning on, although that wasn't really doing much good holding that on. I think that should slide out unless there's something holding it on that end. And I'm gonna have to step down a little bit because it's gonna have to come all the way off the front. All I can say is I hope that the install goes as easy as that uninstall went. That would be awesome. With your slide topper awning off, it is the perfect opportunity to replace the gasket around your slide. Ours was old and nasty and we had taken it off during the slide repair. So now is a perfect time to install a new one. After replacing the gaskets, we added some silicone lube to the awning slides and then we were off to the races and ready to get that new awning in and looking good. Now we're gonna start feeding the new awning in. You've got a thin edge and you have a thick edge. The thick edge is gonna go into the top of the RV, into that, that rail. The thinner one is gonna go into the, the roller down here. So we've got about four feet or so of the thick to put in first and then we'll uh, start on the, the thinner one. Once you start feeding the awning in, just make sure you feed it into the rail as straight as possible. Take your time, no need to get in a rush here. Just keep feeding it in a little bit at a time, making sure that it doesn't rip or tear or get caught on anything, and you'll be good to go. As you can probably hear, we're not getting this done uh, soon enough. <laughs> if you're gonna to try to install this by yourself, what you could do is put your slide in just a little bit so that you can reach across it. Ours is a little bit deep, so it would be impossible to reach across and be able to slide both sides by yourself. 
So having that extra set of hands is definitely a huge help here. This is where having a second pair of hands really helps, especially with ours because of the length of the awning. Yeah, they know. I literally just said that. Continue working the awning into the rails bit at a time as you have your second set of hands pulling it down the rails and eventually it'll sit in there just perfect. You notice how I gave Vic the hard side. That's it, now we're gonna take the spike out. We're gonna make sure that this all sets nice and then, uh, and then we'll be good to go. Measured it evenly. So I've got half inch on this side. Inch and a half. Inch and a half? Yeah. Okay, go that way just a little bit. The only thing I'm gonna do now is, this did not have it in there before, I don't know why, but I'm gonna drop a set screw in the rain rail into the awning just so that it doesn't go anywhere, but I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. It's wrapped pretty good here, but all the awning guys do that, so I'm gonna do that. But that's it, slide topper awning. It's not that difficult. It was much easier having an extra set of hands. This is a long one, so the uh, getting it into the tracks and getting it down on the other side takes some time you get a little bit of back and forth but really wasn't a difficult repair and it's something that makes your rv look a whole lot better and it's a lot more functional our other one was so old that you could start to see through it it was cracked and it didn't even feel like an awning it felt like a weird piece of plastic so slide topper awning replacement easy enough that i can do it Vic can do it that means you should be able to do it We'll see you in the next video. Yeah, what, what they said. And then I'm going to get down here before we get electrocuted.